Good morning. Welcome to BBC Newsroom Live. I'm Joanna Gosling. Two astronauts have landed safely in Kazakhstan after the Russian Soyuz rocket they were in suffered an engine malfunction shortly after blasting off. The spacecraft was due to take two new astronauts, one Russian, one American, to the International Space Station. The crew sustained no injuries during the emergency landing. Here's a NASA translation of a recording of the mission control at the moment the boosters failed. Is it emergency of booster two minutes, 45 seconds, the uh, emergency, the failure of the booster? Failure of the booster? Yes, yes. Well, let's go to our correspondent, Sarah Rainsford, who is in Moscow. So, Sarah, they were absolutely fine, picked up after an emergency landing. But how dramatic was this? Well, extremely dramatic. Of course, as you were hearing there, the, the launch uh, at the beginning was going smoothly. It was only 2 minutes 45 seconds, though, into that uh, blast off from uh, the Baikonur Cosmodrome in, in Kazakhstan that the accident happened. And in fact, you, what you heard there was the NASA uh, feed from the launch, the Russian feed. The commentary, in fact, cut off immediately after the word accident uh, was pronounced. Uh, and uh, anyone listening to the Russian feed of the launch would not have known what happened next. But uh, as we now know, the uh, Soyuz capsule decoupled from the rocket launcher and then it began its, its extremely dramatic and uh, very, very fast descent to Earth, a ballistic descent is how NASA describe it. Uh, that means it comes in at an extremely steep angle. I mean, any anyway, coming down to one of those Soyuz capsules, even a normal planned landing is uh, an extremely uh, difficult ride. Uh, but uh, certainly a ballistic descent is extremely uncomfortable. And so very tense until uh, we heard word from the Russian space agency that contact had been made with the two astronauts on board that Soyuz capsule that they had landed safely in the Kazakh steppe uh, some 600 kilometers away from their launch position and that rescuers were on the way. They have now been recovered. They're said to be fine, although, of course, as, you say, as I was saying, it is an extremely uh, fast and, and uh, uh, uncomfortable ride down, I think, in an emergency landing procedure like that, the like of which uh, Russia hasn't seen for a very, very long time. What will happen now in terms of future flights and getting to the bottom of this? Well, there are a lot of huge questions now for both Russia's space industry, but also, of course, the International Space Station, because uh, for some years now, these Soyuz rockets, the Russian space system, has been the only uh, way up to the International Space Station. Uh, that's ever since the, the Americans uh, stopped their shuttle uh, program. So all international astronauts currently rely on Russian rockets, Russia's launch system. So there's a big question, of course, about whether this means a pause in launches, whilst there is obviously an investigation into what went on and what goes on beyond that. So uh, at the moment, of course, the focus is on the safety of the two astronauts, but the questions for Russia's space industry and, of course, for the fate of the International Space Station, I think, are huge. And there are astronauts currently in orbit on the International Space Station. Uh, these two astronauts, the Russian and the American, were heading up there to relieve them. Uh, so uh, still questions as to what happens next, but certainly an investigation has been launched. And I should say, you know, the Soyuz is an extremely reliable rocket. It's been, uh, it's been uh, launching into space Space for, for many decades. And in fact, the last time there was an accident on launch with crews on board was 35 years ago. So I think this is a big blow uh, to Russia and to its space industry. Thank you very much. Two people have died after the third strongest storm in recorded history to hit major.